And the Oscar goes to Hair Love, Matthew A. Cherry and Karen Murphy-Colliver. Hair Love, a short film highlighting a black father who learns how to style his daughter's natural hair. We have a firm belief that representation matters deeply. And on the biggest night in film, black hair was center stage. But so was the push to protect people who wear their natural hair or braids. We wanted to normalize black hair. There's a very important issue that's out there, it's the Crown Act. The Crown Act. That's short for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. It's law in California, New York, and New Jersey. And in Minnesota, State Representative Rena Moran has introduced similar legislation. Extend the definition of race to include um, hairstyles, hair textures, including braids, locks, and twists. It will become a human right, right? So any violation would be a, a violation against human rights. About 20 other states have introduced similar legislation which prohibits discrimination based on hair style and hair texture. Texas lawmakers are working on their own version after a high school senior in that state was told to cut his dreadlocks if he wanted to walk during his graduation ceremony. He didn't. And that student, DeAndre Arnold, was director Matthew Cherry's special guest Sunday. And if we can help to get this passing off at these states, it will help stories like DeAndre Arnold's. Moran will share her own personal hair story during a committee hearing Thursday. Notice today her hair is braided. I have worn braids before. I have. I don't think maybe I worn braids in session because I'm just so used to have been conforming to, you know, the Eurocentric model. She hopes to create a world where no man or woman has to think twice. And I think a hearing is really important because uh, I, I think often when you are not being um, seen as different or being discriminated against because of your hair, you don't know it's a problem. But I think with this bill that it will make some of the invisible visible. Well, Representative Moran's bill gets a first committee hearing. Like she said on Thursday, she did tell Adrian there will be an opportunity there for some public testimony so people will get to weigh in.